video intro this is aggravating me. Um, it hates and it's real economic on the wood. So the problem is when you open the door to put more wood in it, you get smoke in there. Um, and that doesn't work. To the design flaw, and we're going to fix it. They designed too much safety in it. We're going to have to like make it a little less safe, but it'll still be safe enough for out here. Okay, well, more to come. See, so see in here. See that uh, metal flange is meant to disperse the heat along the top. And, you know, spread it out, keep the heat on the bricks, charge, you know, warm everything up. I mean, there's still hot coals in here. And I put wood in at 10 o'clock last night. And it was still making a little warm. But anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to take that out and shorten it. So there's more room for the smoke to get through. There's only about an inch on either end. And this, the problem is right there. Fills up with smoke so fast that it blows out into the room. When you open it to put more wood in it, you get, you know, you get smoke coming out this door. And that is not going to work. So. Just try that and see how, I mean, there's, it's like really big. I mean, this is a good idea. It keeps the top of this from getting super hot. And the whole idea is to maintain the fire inside the firebox instead of going up in the, the pipe there. The downside to that is, you know, if they had made this from here up, if they'd have added four inches, if they'd have added this distance here, on top of this stove which you can buy that stove it's a couple of hundred dollars more and that would be why um, they don't I don't think they actually sell this one anymore um, but anyway we're I'm all I'm gonna do is uh, um, I'm either gonna cut a couple of round holes with a torch or just burn off a couple inches on each end. Yeah, let's see how we do it. Alrighty. I mean, see, cut uh, a couple inches off each end on the top. This, this is actually the top. This is the inside of it. Uh, and then I cut a couple holes in the front. Hope I didn't do too much. But, anyway. Number next. Stick it back in there. No, number next. I was putting it back in and I, I didn't even look. I didn't. They've got yet another baffle. So there was no way. I mean, they had the flue almost closed. And, you know, realistically. So. I got, they got some way to get the cutting torch in there. Um, I mean, the smoke's got to get out of here somewhere. Huh? Well, we may try it just like that. You put a lot of heat on that painted outside surface. We really want that. Now we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut that out a little bit. Hold on. All right. Let's see if we can see Will's again. Everything back in there. Sure, ish. Now let's build the fire and see if we smoke up the place. Oh, so far so good. I 
fire's going up, hitting the plate. Just like it's supposed to. Scrolling to 18 and going up. Well, it's more scrolling to 1 because the fire's not in the middle. Yeah. Go to the real fire and get some smoke going and see what happens. Yeah, it's better. Oh. It used to just billow out, now there's just a little bit. So now at least I can open the door and put wood in it without choking to death. We will give this the day and see how it works. And you can see the smoke. It's making the smoke. Now you, so, yeah. The uh, my ran out of oxid or acetylene in my torch. Uh, now it's just a little plumber torch. So ran out of gas. So um, I'm gonna have to fill that up. As soon as I get a job. But, uh, anyways, it's better. So. Sure puts out a lot more heat with the door open, that's for sure. So, there's a difference between something that's cushy and cozy and warm looking and then there's something that puts out enough heat to heat your whole house safely. And it's popping right now because I put cedar in there to start the fire. Um, I use a, I have a, access to a lot of old cedar fence posts. You know, that they rot it off at the ground and they're just laying all over the place. I pick them up and chop them up and turn them into kindling. And, uh, it's basically West Texas, uh, what do you call it, um, fire knot. <laughs> it stuff burns good. So, only problem is it pops like crazy. And I deliberately put wood in there that I knew would smoke. That's a rotten mesquite right there. And it, they, it burns just like anything else, but when it first gets going, it makes a gosh awful lot of smoke. But uh, smoke's staying in there now. Just needed that little bit more. I should have listened to myself. I told myself I should have cut them uh, holes in the front of that plate a little bigger. And I think if I could have caught more of the, that top plate cut out, I'd have been all right. Which, uh, I can always take the, pull that pipe and set it over here on the side and get a drill bit and start poking holes in that little plate. It's just eighth of an inch. Just, just so the air can flow. I mean, the, it's too high tech. It, you know, it, it's designed to make heat like that. The only problem is, most of your heat like that, you're going right out that hole. And that's not where we want it. We want it in here. So, yeah. That's my fireplace video. Y'all have a good day. Stay warm. It's raining outside. There's a bird in here. Hold on, let me see if I can catch a picture of it. Okay. It's a wren. You see it? I figured out how to get it out of here without it getting hurt. It's not my favorite, that's not my spirit animal right there. Hold on guys, I gotta open the door.